Happening right now on Good Morning Buffalo as Niagara County looks to better connect rural and urban parts of the community. Why officials say bringing everyone together is so important. Plus, I've been digging through police reports all week. The new details on a brazen robbery in West Seneca. A very warm and muggy start to your Thursday, and I'm tracking some showers across parts of western New York this morning. And a popular fundraiser returns to western New York. Taylor's going to show us how you can take part in this mission to help others. Streaming live to start your day, this is Good Morning Buffalo. Good morning, Buffalo. It is 5 o'clock. Thanks for joining us on your Thursday morning, almost Friday. Hey, if you're driving in the city this morning, just take care. The firefighters are going to be out there as they start their Fill the Boot campaign. Taylor's going to be with them this morning, but just keep your eyes open. We'll keep an eye out for sure and check in with Taylor coming up in just minutes as we say good morning to you at 5 o'clock. Thanks so much for being with us. We'll get you out the door with that already sticky forecast. Oh, I had the air conditioner crank this yeah. morning on my way in. It is very warm and very muggy to start off your day today. I'm tracking some rainfall as well. You'll find those showers over Chautauqua County right now and some more rain out over Lake Erie. This rain moving off toward the northeast, passing from uh, Westfield and Chautauqua, heading over toward Dunkirk at around 518. Stocked in the next couple of minutes. Sheridan around 530. Hanover around 540. Gowanda before 6 a.m. You'll have some rainfall. Mostly light to moderate rainfall as these showers move off toward the northeast. Now, zooming out, you'll see it's pretty unsettled across southern Ontario and the eastern Great Lakes. This system is going to continue to make its way toward us, and we'll have the chance for some rainfall today. Maybe a rumble of thunder. The big weather story with the uh, chance for rain today will be the slow-moving storms that develop. Some could bring some locally heavy downpours. 74 degrees. What is it, 5 a.m., and it's 74 degrees outside. Winds out of the south at 8 miles per hour. Upper 60s to low 70s across the southern tier. 75 in Akron, 75 in Swarmville, 73 for Cambria and Lockport. Your forecast for today, you'll find temperatures in the mid-70s at 8 a.m. Mostly cloudy, warm, and muggy today. We'll be in the low 80s this afternoon with some locally heavy downpours. You're welcome. Aaron, thank you. All new for you this morning, the 21-year-old man accused of killing a Rochester police officer and shooting another has been charged with aggravated murder. If convicted, Kelvin Vickers could face life in prison without parole. He was indicted by a grand jury in eight counts. That also contains attempted murder, assault, and weapons counts. Officer Anthony Mazurkovitz was killed. Officer Sino saying hurt. They were shot while patrolling in an unmarked car July 21st. A funeral for Mazurkovitz was held Monday. They haven't hit any luck anywhere else. Right now on Good Morning Buffalo, a town of Tonawanda man reaching out to seven problem solvers after his lawn was ripped up. What's now being done to help him out? Plus, we're breaking down the newest guidance for new parents who choose to breastfeed their kids. Mostly cloudy, warm, and muggy as you head out the door this morning with temperatures in the 60s and 70s to start your day. And bring your cash and coins on the way to work this morning. The annual Fill the Boot fundraiser is back. You're watching Good Morning Buffalo with Ed Dranch, Katie Moores, and Seven Weather Chief Meteorologist Aaron Minkowski. Bottom of the hour on the start of a Thursday morning. We'll take you live outside with Skywatch 7. Hazy and cloudy to start the day. 75 degrees already at 6.30. We say good morning to you. Thanks so much for being with us. You know when it's hot so early in the day that it's just going to be a scorcher yeah. throughout the rest of the day. You feel the humidity right now in the hair and in your air. Aaron. <laughs> yeah, I know. My hair is getting all messed up from this humidity. It is definitely uh, very muggy out here this morning. Let's take a look at the radar. Not only do we have the uh, high humidity levels, we also have a few showers out over Lake Erie. Care a lot of brief shower here in Buffalo over the next 30 minutes. If that rain were to hold together, it is fizzling out, but I do think a little, a little bit of that rain will hold together and make its way toward the metro area by around 7 a.m. Zooming out, notice some rainfall across southern Ontario and out over Lake Erie. Good morning, Buffalo. We're keeping your morning moving. Good morning, Buffalo. At 723, the 21-year-old man accused of killing a Rochester police officer and shooting another was indicted by a grand jury on eight counts, including aggravated murder. Kevin Vickers accused of shooting officers Anthony Mazurkovitz and Sino Singh July 21st. If he's convicted, Vickers could face life in prison without parole. We are expected to hear from Governor Hochul this morning about new measures against illegal guns. In June, the state attorney general's office took action against 28 gun 
dealer statewide for advertising or offering to sell unfinished frames, receivers, or kits with both, which could be used to create ghost guns. Nine of those businesses were here in western New York. Let's take a live look at the start of your Thursday morning. 75 degrees as you're stepping outside, and it is humid. Aaron's tracking your forecast after this. Good morning, everyone. We're looking right now at the 290 here as you head toward the Blue Water Tower. Things are moving smoothly through that area. Really light to moderate volume on the main roads with no accidents to start off your day. Roads are nice and dry. Look at the radar. A little bit of light rain approaching parts of Niagara County, western Niagara County. Seeing a little bit of a light rain right near the reservoir as that continues to move off toward the east as the day moves along. There's a chance for a few showers. A lot of dry time today. We could see uh, some locally heavy downpours arrive late this morning and into this afternoon with some of the these slow moving cells that'll be moving through the region later on. 76 degrees right now. It is warm. It is muggy this morning. You'll find temperatures in the low 80s, warm and humid today with some locally heavy downpours developing. Again, a lot of dry time, but warm and humid today. Low 80s with those scattered showers and some could bring some locally heavy rains. Scattered showers and thunder showers tonight. Overnight lows in the low 70s. Tomorrow, low 80s with some scattered storms. Mid to upper 80s for the upcoming weekend. Good morning, I am Mercedes Wilson. Good morning, and I'm Emily Lampa, live at the downtown Buffalo Country Market. I'm super excited to tell you all about it because, of course, there's fresh vegetables, healthy options, and you can take advantage of it during your work hours. If you haven't heard about it, we'll have all the details. Ah, uh, how about throwing some of those veggies on the grill? Summer is not over, folks. We have some barbecue essentials just in time for that weekend party. And check out this cast of budding Broadway actors. We'll hear from the Beauty and the Beast in just a bit. Good morning, Emily. Oh my goodness, <laughs> down here. Yes, Mercedes, I'm having such a good time because who doesn't love a farmer's market? Now the downtown Buffalo farmer's market, of course, presented by Buffalo Place and sponsored, of course, by M&T. How wonderful, right? That this is something that's available to us here in the city of Buffalo. If you haven't heard about it, it's kind of a shame actually because they've been around for 40 years. Right now on 7 News at noon, the race is heating up to represent the Republican Party on the ballot for New York's 23rd Congressional District. New allegations raised by one of the candidates. Plus, Niagara County leaders looking for your input this noon on the finishing touches to add more bus routes in rural communities. And happening in your neighborhood, the Corn Festival is back. What you need to know if your family is heading down to eat. Streaming live from downtown Buffalo, this is 7 News. Well, good afternoon. I'm Jeff Russo. We begin today with developing news out of Russia. WNBA star Brittany Griner sentenced to nine years in prison for drug possession and smuggling. The judge says the six months Griner has already served in custody will count toward the sentence. Maybe sees Justin Fintz following these new developments from Washington for us. Tonight, looking for leads. We are making a significant progress in the case. The movement made in an 18-year-old investigation. Stadium concerns. How some community members want to make sure they're not left out of the Buffalo Bills stadium deal. High humidity and chances for rain continue, but cool relief is in sight. I'll have the forecast straight ahead. Feeling ducky. The community cooperation that lets you go on a hunt. Streaming live from downtown Buffalo, this is 7 News. Good evening, I'm Leah Lando. Jeff is on assignment tonight. There might be a break in a murder investigation that has lasted for more than a decade. Yolanda Bindix was just 25 years old when she was murdered in Jamestown. That was back in 2004. Her killer still has not been found, but the search for justice has not stopped. Senior reporter Eileen Buckley tells us about the new leads investigators say they found and new technology that could help crack this cold case. 
tonight at 530 hitting the mat how the state just made it easier for girls to grapple and what this means to one young athlete who made her mark against the boys. Increasing inclusion how the state is now making it easier for all people to declare their identity. And sentencing day, the punishment a basketball star has been ordered to serve and the one avenue she still has that could set her free. Streaming live from downtown Buffalo, this is 7 News. Good evening, I'm Hannah Bueller. A young girl who is a pioneer in her sport is just part of a growing trend in high school athletics. The National Wrestling Coaches Association says the number of girls on high school wrestling teams has increased almost 35 times between 1994 and 2021. Jocelyn Person reports on the new expansion coming to New York State and what this means to a girl who has dreams of going pro. Right now on 7 News at 6, closing the door on a decades-old cold case. Tonight, a family's fight for justice. We've developed a number of new leads. Um, a lot of new information has been garnered, and we are making a significant progress in the case. Then how will the new Bill Stadium benefit you, the taxpayers who are footing most of the bill? Neighbors tonight making their voices heard. We've been left out too long, and that's immoral. Also, is a back-to-school shopping breaking the bank or tracking down your best deals? And believe in Buffalo tonight, we were in the South Towns checking out a brand new gaming and entertainment complex, highlighting some classic games along with the high-end virtual reality entertainment. It's coming up tonight on Believe in Buffalo. Streaming live from downtown Buffalo, this is 7 News. Well, good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Russo, live once again in Blaisdell tonight at Orion's Landing, offering a new twist on a classic arcade. We're going to show you all this has to offer, this facility, coming up tonight and Believe in Buffalo. Playing video games tonight. Love it, Jeff. We'll see you soon. We'll check back in with you in just a bit. But we begin tonight with a growing problem for some families making ends meet in the school supply aisle. The price of the back to school hall expected to top $660 per student this year. That's an 8% boost from a year ago. That cost leading some parents to make some tough decisions. In a recent survey, more than a third of parents say they won't be able to afford all of their kids' school supplies. 42% say they plan to take on debt to buy everything on the list. 7 News reporter Michael Schwartz tonight exploring the local resources available to you to stay on budget this back to school season. Tonight on 7 News at 7, the significant progress police say they're making in solving a nearly 20-year-old murder of a young woman in western New York. Plus, the way these ducks are helping communities around western New York and who needs your help in finding them. I'm very excited for the girls. It's another step in the right direction. We've been fighting for a long time for this. And at 723, the pathway that's now opening up for more girls around the state to hit the mats. 7 News at 7 starts right now. Streaming live from downtown Buffalo, this is 7 News. Good evening, I'm Hannah Bueller. There might be a break in a murder investigation that has lasted for more than a decade. Yolanda Bindix was just 25 years old when she was murdered in Jamestown. That was in 2004. Her killer has still not been found. The search for justice has not stopped. Senior reporter Eileen Buckley tells us about the new leads investigators say they have found and the new technology that could help crack this case wide open. Right now on 7 News at 11, we're digging deeper into what a public health emergency means as monkey pox cases climb. Well, there's some scattered showers and thunderstorms and even some localized heavy rain into our morning commute, but we do dry things out into the afternoon, at least for some. I'll have your forecast. And at 11.14, the two places you won't be able to fly Frontier Airlines to to escape the winter cold this year. The story seconds away at 11. Streaming live from downtown Buffalo, this is 7 News. 
Good evening. I'm Hannah Bueller. Tonight, neighbors in Erie County are voicing their concerns about some changes coming to a local community college. Back in March, we told you that SUNY ECC South is slashing six programs from its academic roster. The college told 7 News at the time it's facing a $9 million budget shortfall and a 50% drop in employment and enrollment over the last 10 years. More than a dozen programs are also being moved to ECC North Campus and many neighbors and community leaders not happy about these changes put on a special forum to make their voices heard. Sydney Yor was at tonight's meeting. She joins us in the newsroom tonight with more. Yeah, Hannah, several students and faculty took to that forum tonight, many even getting emotional while they expressed what they like about SUNY or Erie Community College's South Campus and why they're not ready to see it go just yet. You're watching 7 News with Hannah Bueller, 7 Weather Meteorologist Autumn Lewandowski, and Sports Director Matt Bovey. Welcome back. It is 11:14. Let's take a look at some of the other top stories we're following for you tonight. Traveling to Canada may cost you a little more money depending on which way you go. The Niagara Falls Bridge Commission just increased the tolls for both the Rainbow and Lewiston Queenston bridges by a dollar for cars. It's now going to cost you five bucks American to cross the border. The changes took effect Monday. This price hike does not affect the tolls on the Peace Bridge. Well, thanks for joining <laughs> us tonight on 7 News at 11. We will be back tomorrow at 4.30, our morning team. Do you I was going to say, do you have some water to do? <laughs> I would know. I was just going to say it. it she waited 100 years for that shout out. So I'm glad Deserved we gave it, it to her. I'm so glad <laughs> we gave it to her. Thanks for joining us tonight on 7 News at 11. We will see you tomorrow morning. At 4.30, you won't be up that early, but the morning team will be here for you. I'll leave you with a live look at Skywatch 7. Have a great night.